Learning photography is no easy task. While the profession may seem superficially simplistic, the depth of knowledge required to truly master the art is astonishing. Throughout my ongoing journey to master photography, I have encountered many widely taught and accepted falsities that hinder photographers. Here are the five biggest misconceptions in photography. Number one, ISO. The concept of ISO in digital photography is often misconstrued, and misconceptions like ISO is sensitivity, higher ISO means more grain, and increasing ISO increases exposure cloud the true effects of manipulating ISO. Unlike film cameras, where different ISO or ASA rated film would contain more or less light sensitive crystals, in modern cameras, changing ISO has no effect on sensitivity or exposure. Instead, ISO merely amplifies existing signal, and in program modes with auto ISO, the amplification fools the camera into thinking it has produced an adequately exposed image. Grain and noise that we typically see at higher ISOs is actually a direct result of decreased true exposure, whether it be from shorter shutter speeds or smaller lens apertures. Raising ISO while keeping shutter speed and aperture constant will, in most cameras, not increase noise, but only increase image brightness, decrease dynamic range, and decrease tonal detail and accuracy. Using high ISOs is only beneficial when you need a faster shutter speed to freeze action or a smaller aperture to increase depth of field. Number 2. Great images have to come from great cameras. The misconception that in order to produce professional quality images, one must own an expensive camera, and that to take better pictures requires better gear, is perhaps the most dangerous and destructive mistruth in photography. While DSLR and mirrorless cameras can take beautiful photos, the same can be said for point-and-shoot and even smartphone cameras. In fact, the only advantage of owning the best gear is that your process of physically taking the photos may be quicker but this does not result in better photos. When considering taking a photo, you should be concerned about its actual content, light, subject, composition, storytelling, mood, and atmosphere, not whether your camera has enough dynamic range or megapixels. Number three, to be professional, you must use manual mode. In the photography community, there is an atmosphere where using auto mode or priority modes is shamed, and if you aren't a manual shooter, you are labeled as unconfident, a beginner. In reality, auto and program modes have very real use cases, like shutter priority for sports and wildlife, aperture priority for portraits and landscapes, and auto for quick snapshots or in situations where you don't have time to change camera settings. So next time you are in the field, don't feel pressure to use manual mode. Use whatever setting is most comfortable and appropriate. Number 4. A good lens is a sharp lens. It is a bit of an obsession amongst reviewers to judge the quality of a lens solely or primarily based on its sharpness. This creates the misconception that a lens is only worth buying if it is perfectly sharp from corner to corner. Minor and incremental improvements in optical design have made modern lenses ever so slightly sharper and lens manufacturer sales departments fuel the sharpness misconception because it encourages photographers to abandon old lenses, which are most likely fine to begin with. Furthermore, many modern lenses optimized for pure resolution are lacking in other categories, including micro contrast, which gives photos realism. So instead of sharpness, consider factors like build quality, micro contrast, bokeh quality, and focusing speed when selecting a lens. Number 5. Photography is easy. One frustration amongst photographers is when they hear someone say, photography is easy, while they snap a picture with their smartphone. While photography is superficially simple, creating truly captivating and visually stunning pictures requires experience and skill. Taking beautiful photographs requires not only technical knowledge of the fundamentals of photography, but an artistic eye for light and composition. Photography is not easy, but with dedicated learning, experience, and motivation, almost anyone can take great photos. In a field with so much breadth and depth of knowledge, it is important to discern between fact and falsehood. While these five misconceptions do not come close to the scope of photographic mistruths, by busting some of photography's biggest myths, hopefully I will help others improve their photography. Subscribe to Apple Apps for more videos.
make sure to rate the video and feel free to leave your feedback below. If you would like to support the channel, become a patron. As always, thanks for watching.